guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike, he's Jay, another Halloween update for you guys. We keep coming at your face with those updates. There's so much goddamn goodness. It just keeps happening. I don't want it to happen when I'm at work. This is the pumpkin. But it happens. This is the pumpkin. Here's the big news, guys. Halloween has fucking wrapped. Like, of all- What, what was your song? Of all, <laughs> of all the shit that fans have been through with Friday the 13th, oh, it's starting, oh, we're casting, oh, it's fucking canceled. Fuck you, Paramount. Of all the shit we've been through, like, uh, when Halloween was announced, Halloween Returns got canceled, the script was really good for that, it got fucking canceled, and we got the glorious news of Blumhouse, is it gonna happen, is something gonna be fucked up, John Carpenter's involved, it's, dude, there's no way in hell now that this movie's not gonna happen. They have filmed the fucking bitch. They teased you just enough, they and it. you found out that the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. It's fucking done, guys. It's glorious. It's wrapped up. So so here's the latest news to come out. There's been all sorts of stuff from people. <laughs> woo! 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 So kicking it right off, there's this, this, this tw uh, Instagram uh, post by Blumhouse. It's the fucking pumpkin. Aha. See you in the theaters October 19th. I'll see you there. Blumhouse kept his promise. He said it, man. He was like, everybody was like, oh, it's going to happen. They're pushing back filming. He's like, you will cut my hand off if this movie's not out. And they did it. Um, they cut his hand off? No, they didn't. That pumpkin looks like shit. <laughs> but I'm excited. Like, thank God that we get fucking stabbing and slashing and, and fucking good old Michael Myers with his William Shatner mask. Probably, I hope so. Just doing it like it needs to be done in Hanfield. Michael and Jeff! My friend, you mentioned the mask, and I have something to report. There's a lot of stuff that's been coming out from the rap parties and whatever, and Jamie Lee Curtis herself tweeted this, not tweeted, but Instagrammed this picture um, right here of herself with this piece of fine Michael Myers art, and she says, and that's a wrap. Darlene Vega painted this portrait of Michael Myers, a fitting last taboo, Tabula. Tabula. Tab is that fucking can't even read. I'm Talk to me. Stupid. Tabula. Uh, while shooting Halloween movie, everybody who made the movie did so because of their passion for John Carpenter and Deborah Hill's original vision. I think you will all be very happy and very scared. See, so like she's confident shit that's going to. So be scared. I mean, it, but I mean, we don't know. Are you trying to say is that the is that the mask? That's, that's, that's a huge fro. That's, that's a huge afro. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm going into. Originally, you just you know you take it at face value and you just see it's it's kind of a weird altruistic version of Michael. He's got like a weird teardrop on his. He does have the big hair. His mouth's a little bit bigger. I, but you just assume that's just someone's Yeah, I, yeah I, 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 I think it's an artistic. There is something else, though. Uh, our friend um, Jordan Sutton tweeted this to me. One of the, uh, I guess, cast rap party pictures or something. I don't know. I, I don't know for exactly where this came from. But there's this picture right here. Right right <laughs> here. Right here, you've got this picture of the, the Halloween beanie. There's a weird hairbrush there for some reason. I want the beanie. Possibly a lollipop. I want that, too. Um, and it's this Montas picture, but look over to the bottom right. I'm seeing it. Look at this picture right here. Do you see that? Zooming in. What is that? That's a... What is that? Uh, okay. Uh, what I am seeing right now is I'm looking at a sketch police artist report of the latest alien that abducted the young girl from the Texas roadways at 9.01 p.m. Uh, I don't want that to be the Myers mask because the eyes are way too fucking big. The, why is the hair grown out like Billy Ray Cyrus is doing Aki Breaky Heart again? However... There are certain features about it that does look sexual. Now, does I, I mean again? It's pretty scary, man. It, it looks it's like it's not the Myers mask, yeah, but it, it kind of reminds me of Michael like had a wet face and somebody gave him a T-shirt and went like this. He's like, "Have a nice day." <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing: like, it, this could be nothing. I, I, again, this could be absolutely nothing. This just this could be just someone artistic, being like, "This is yeah, cool." Like an artistic but thing. look at this picture now. Take a deep look at it. I'm look into it. its eyes. Right, look into the darkest eyes, the blackest eyes. It's huge eyes. Now look right here. Now look again. Those are very similar. Yeah, but okay. So if you go to that one, I, I mean, I feel like the it, mouth is also bigger. I, the hair is also bigger. The eyes are also bigger. Now look at this one. Yeah, I know. they're you very going, similar. I know, but if you go to the other one, the one with Jamie Lee Curtis holding it up, it looks like an actual artistic representation of whatever weird. Like I, I feel art in my nipples, and I want to paint something. Right. Like. That, it's, it's dope. I, it looks cool, but it's not. It's not. It's not Michael. But it's very but close to whatever that, the fuck this pop tart thing is. I don't think it's gonna be. Uh, look, I think that we're gonna be in for a real good treat when uh, Halloween comes out. Trick or treat. When how? When when the movie actually comes out? Do they use? Uh, like guys, I really want them to use the actual William Shatner mask, the original mold. Yeah. Uh, it's possible that this is all kind of misdirection. You know, you see artists inter artistic interpretations of this or that or that. And it's still to go and see the movie when it comes out on 1019 when it drops and you actually get to watch it. Because I don't even think the teaser trailers are really going to reveal the mask. 
Because, I mean, I think that would give too much away. And when you go see the movie, you see the fucking actual William Shatner mask. You'd be like, holy. This, to me, I'm not that worried about it. Like, that... I'm not worried either way. If they, yeah. if they, but here's here's the big question. Uh, it's not a worry for me. Like small. I said, I'm full on with everyone involved in this movie. Like, the way they're making it, their vision, I want to see what you guys have to show us. Like, I'm not judging or critiquing at all. But uh, all I'm trying to say is that... It, if this this is a rendition of the mask, it's very different. Now there was someone on our Instagram, and I won't mention your name because I don't know if you want your name mentioned or not, uh, who said he met with Mick, Nick Castle at mm -hmm. a recent convention, and what Nick Castle told him was that it's a it's a version, it's very much like the original mask, but 40 years later, it's gone through some wear and tear, much like Rob Zombie's version of the mask. Like it looks a little dirtier, and it looks like it's been through some. Mm -hmm. shit. That's fine as long as it's the William Shatner mask. Now that again, like you know. What have you done, my I son? I didn't spend nothing. That that piece of information that you got right there uh, from a, from a, a good dude on Instagram sharing with us some information, and then these two pictures. What if, man? What if they do a drastic change to the mask? What if they do it, and that is the key? Like everybody's gonna say, no, 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 don't do it, don't touch it. I want the original. I don't, and I get it. But imagine this: what if it takes that to make Michael truly scary again? Mm. In your eyes, well, you see something brand new, and it actually shakes your foundation like it did in the original. That may be what it takes. I don't know, man, because uh, I don't think... I think that just seeing Michael Myers, again, I don't care in some way what he's wearing, the panties are still going to be... Well, we know the overalls know. are there right. because we've seen Nick Castle's pictures. So uh, but if you're trying to make it something different and new, but with some uh, nod to the nostalgia part of it, that's fine and dandy, too. I don't think those pictures are representation are represent of, of the mask. But either way... The fact of the matter is, guys, what we're really getting our tits lactating for is that this is done. It's wrapped up. We're editing that, and we're bringing that greatness to our face to eat on the 19th of October of this year. Put not next year, back. not two years from now, but now. Avengers, what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do, I don't, comparatively, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's all I hate. want to eat. Michael Myers! <laughs> I, no, I mean, like, literally, guys, when this movie drops on the 19th of October, like, it's like Christmas. It's like Thanksgiving. It's New Year's Eve. It's all rolled in together, and we're gonna all have sex together in an orgy. Not even just the trick. Not even just the, not even the movie itself. Dude. It's, it's raining red. red. Just, mommy, it's, <laughs> it's raining. It's raining red. Not even just the movie, but the trailer itself, dude. Imagine when we're sitting here in front of your fucking faces and we're about to click sucking and fucking and touch and click play on that trailer. I'm gonna be scared. I know. Like, I don't even want, I, I don't even want I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to know. This movie, and you've said it before, my friend. You've said it before. I have. That this will be the Moses parting the Red River for the rest of the fucking movies to be made. If it's good, other studios will follow. We'll get Friday the 13th. We'll get Nightmare on Elm Street. We'll get an actual theatrical release, maybe, of the remake of Hellraiser. There'll be uh, the, non-stop good stuff coming. If it sucks ass, we're fucked. I mean, if it just tanks, they'll be like, okay, nobody cares Even anymore. Even worse. So it, when you it, click it, on that video, to, you know, sucking and fucking and touching, and it and, and you click on it, it's going to be one for the ages. Even worse. One for the, the ages. The movie's amazing, but for some reason it doesn't do well at the box office, man. That... It's crazy. Dread so, was amazing, but but the question of the day is, guys, is and I want to know from you with an must keep open mind. Uh -huh. I want to no, know from you. You're not Japanese. <laughs> you're not the Naka. <laughs> I want you to know. I, I want to know your all's thoughts. If they change, make drastic change, such as this to the mask. Are you on board to see what the fuck happens? And maybe it's going to scare you even deeper because it's something unsuspected and new, striking fear into your heart. Or do you just want the original? The original. How do you feel? Like, are you are you open? Are you open to giving it a chance for the mask to look different, I which is the most drastic thing you can fucking do? Because if you get the mask right, you're halfway there, brother. You and I've said it once, and I've said it twice. Woo! What you gonna do <laughs> when all the little Halloween and maniacs went over you, brother? <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, uh, it's like vitamins, speed, steroids, a little cup of coffee in the uh, morning. Yeah, you know, look. Uh, they, Are they, you open? They've got a good. They've got a good premise. They've got the great cast with them. And John Carpenter's on board with it, and he gave it the blessing. He's actually there. He's doing things with it. I mean, come on! The people who have made this come movie on. have exuded nothing Shema. but extreme love for Halloween and the franchise. This is not a studio slocky bullshit. Whatever they do, pass or fail, it seems like they're doing it with pure love of the franchise from step one to the last step, and I am fucking, when, when I see the, the passion coming out of the people making this movie, I feel nothing but 
do do your thing. Show me. Like I, I'm gonna wait and fucking see it before I pass any judgment. I want to know what your all thoughts are. Yeah. How do you feel about the fact that the mask could possibly be different, and we that could be way off. It, as long but, as as long as we don't go H eight bullshit, yeah. like. Or, or H7 CG bullshit. No, if the movie sucks, we'll say it. But I, I'm just saying, let's, mask let's, let's all go into this with an open mind. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. These people are doing it for the right reasons. And let's give them a chance to give us a truly, possibly different version of Michael. What do you guys think? Comment down below let us know. We'll be here with you every step of the way up to the release of the movie and thereafter. We love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and that stupid fucking bell. And get some goddamn, I said goddamn, boy, I'm a bitch. Goddamn. Why you gotta click that fucking bell? Fucking whore. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We did review. We watched a movie. Uh huh. We watched a movie.